what I wanted to show you today is interproximal reduction. And I wanted to show you how to do interproximal reduction and how not to do it. That we actually use an electric motor. It's manufactured by a company named Spee. And it is an electric motor that delivers the power to this handpiece. This is called a reducing handpiece that fits onto the motor and snaps into it. This is an e-connection. A standard e-connection is pretty much the connection that all motors in dentistry use to snap into their hand pieces. So it's a universal connection, e-type. And then the third is the clear discard. And the clear discard fits onto the motor and the hand piece and allows the disc to go into a plastic clear sleeve that allows the doctor to work on the patient in a way which gives the doctor control, safety for both the patient and the doctor, and also repeatable, reproducible results in terms of doing the procedure. The disc spins around at a very high speed traditionally. This system slows the disc down so that the disc is spinning it around at a slower speed with a lot of power that allows you to get through the interproximal surface. The discard that was developed by Spee allows the doctor to hold the handpiece in a manner that they could position it in the patient's mouth for safety and also ease of use so that you could do the procedure while gripping up into a, a finger position where you have more control. The first quadrant we're going to work on is going to be the upper left, maxillary left quadrant. And you're able to utilize this finger, retracting the cheek, resting the discard on the finger, and perform any interproximal reduction within this quadrant. And if you notice, I'm holding this discard and handle, I'm holding the discard and motor pretty much choked up all the way where the cutting is going on. Traditionally, when you use a disc, you can't hold it up here because the, the, the mandrel would be spinning and it would catch your finger. But because this system was designed with safety in mind, also visibility in mind, I'm able to operate this while I'm holding it with quite a bit of control in this manner. This position here, the finger is retracting the cheek on the left and I'm also resting the guard up against my finger to add stability to the process. So you could see I'm doing the entire maxillary left quadrant with ease. Now the, the anterior quadrant, which would be left and right, I change the position of my hand, but I stay at the 12 o'clock position with my body. And I now I'm holding this like this. And notice I'm holding the disc in the motor and the handpiece with this hand but I'm also supporting it with this finger on the other hand. Now I'm able to do the anterior six teeth. Now when I switch over to the right side in the maxillary arch, I switch the handpiece into my other hand and I hold it in this manner and then retracting the cheek with the right hand and I place my finger on the discard and the discard has a little notch here for you to hold onto this and keep it in control. And now I move through the quadrant on the upper maxillary right, and I'm able to do interproximal reduction with control, safety. The lower, ma the mandibular left quadrant, I'm also at the 12 o'clock position. And I'm, if you notice, this finger on the left hand is holding the cheek out of the way, also resting the guard on it at the same time, and I'm moving through the, max the mandibular left quadrant. I get to the anterior teeth, and again, I move it into the right hand, and I'm going through interproximally on all the anterior teeth, both quadrants. Last quadrant would be the, mandib the mandibular right quadrant. I, I move this handpiece back into the other hand, and I go in, retract the cheek with my right hand, and I move the discard with the disc and I perform my procedure. So if you notice I'm, I'm in the 12 o'clock position the entire time, the patient's comfortable, the handpiece is secure, 
The handpiece motor is spinning at 15,000 RPMs, which is being reduced down. It's a 16 to 1 ratio, which drops down this speed into a lower range so that I'm not doing interproximal reduction at 20,000 RPMs or 16,000 RPMs. So by reducing the speed, I'm able to do a, a better interproximal reduction uh, with a lot more safety because the, the burr is not spinning or the disc is not spinning at that high of a speed. But it still has the power that you need to cut through the contact because of this reducer. The innovation of this discard utilizing this handpiece and motor have allowed me to do IPR safely, uh, deliver an excellent result every time with a lot of ease and comfort for both myself and the patient.